Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and this is an update on the nuclear catastrophe that's hit Canada, the brunt of the fallout hit us, and it's going to swirl around the planet and keep doing it, but we took the biggest, heaviest, concentrated brunt of the fallout, and that's when Health Canada turned off the fallout detectors so that no one was warned to stay out of the radioactive rain so that we could let our kids go play outside in the radioactivity and give them a lot of radioactive milk. Harper's Heroes, the kids who went out there and gave up 10 or 15 years of their expected lifespan to avoid panicking the Canadian nation so to avoid us staying indoors. Thank you, Stephen Harper. And I guess Count Ignatiev wouldn't have done any better. So continuing on from here, you can see up here, we have the March 24th, three readings, March 25th, three readings. This is from the Health Canada mobile radiation detector site. And then right here it says that we've decided the frequency of the collection has been reduced due to the low levels of radiation being detected. And of course they want you to go out and stop using your smoke alarms in your homes because of the low level of fires that have been detected. So this is the incredible stupid statement of Health Canada as they turned off their fallout detectors. I'm going to be reading articles and comments I've posted at my Facebook page. So if you want to find the articles themselves, you have to go to facebook.com slash john.termel. So starting around Thursday, April the 14th, an article that's titled Radiation Spreads Worldwide, The Poisoning of Mother Earth from Before It's News. And it says, rainwater samples taken in San Francisco April the 6th measured an increase of 18,100%, which is 181 times more than safe, above federal standards and included measures of radioactive cesium. The West Coast Canadian city of Vancouver ordered suspended all mobile radiation testing until further notice after levels of 10,000% safe levels of iodine-131 were detected. So that's 100 times the safe level. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency refused to test British Columbia milk for radiation. On April 4th, Japanese government also requested the Japan Meteorological Society and Japanese universities not to release data from radiation measurement to avoid public panic. Yeah, just let them go out and get contaminated. The pet cow effect for ingestion of beta and alpha particles discovered by Atomic Energy of Canada scientist Dr. Abram Petcow in 1972 draws ominous conclusions for human exposure. Dr. Petcow found that lower doses of ionizing radiation are actually more efficient at disrupting human cell activity. My comment was, my video, Big Live, Low Level Radiation, is based on this pet cow effect. Imagine, low level is more disruptive than high. So, when they say, don't worry, it's only a low amount compared to the high, then do worry. Michio Kaku, who I had on the Dr. Oz show video, Fukushima ticking time bomb. Radiation is going to take precedent over all else as people start dying big time. Not years away, but in the coming weeks and months. The accumulating effects of all that is, is radiation will show its lethality as radiation sickness and its poison spreads to harmful effects everywhere. And this is by a comment of someone else, not Michio Kiku. April 17th, article. Nine more months of radioactive fallout before Temco begins to stop the leak. And I went, begins? Begins, begins, I want to know when it ends. Begins, begins, begins. Next article, FDA claims no need to test Pacific fish, Japan nuclear radiation. So the FDA claims that there's no need to test fish caught in the Pacific Ocean for Japan nuclear radiation while giving the runaround on specifics about the justification not to test for radioactivity in seafood. From Alexander Higgins's blog, the Forbes editor snaps at the EPA for using FDA radiation levels 
allowing for cancer deaths of 1 in 2,000 instead of EPA guidelines, which only allow cancer fatalities for 1 in a million. So they've lowered the levels, the trigger mechanisms. Radiation levels in San Francisco milk now exceed the infant dose in just 10 liters. So I said, still giving your kids radioactive milk? YouTube for big lie of low-level radiation. Dr. Mark Circus running for our lives. Avoiding exposure and radiation-induced diseases might come down to, I'm terribly sorry to say, running for our very lives. Anyone who cannot accept this is the reality millions of Japanese face is probably not worth saving. So let them consume all the milk and unwashed leafy vegetables they can. And I said, I can't believe they forgot to include baking soda and all the things they suggested you should do to fight radiation sickness, which not only binds with uranium, but provides an alkaline level not conducive to cancer growth we're all going to be getting from the contamination we're all receiving right now. Another article, officials, no nuclear risk to North Pacific fish. And they say, Anchorage and North, Atlanta, North Pacific fish are so unlikely to be contaminated by radioactive material from the crippled nuclear plant in Japan that there's no reason to test them, according to federal and state of Alaska health officials. And turn off your smoke detectors because there's little chance of fires too. Radiation, 20 times higher in the air, water, and 14 states drinking water, while EPA raises the normal levels. Imagine, EPA to raise limits for radiation exposure, while Canada turns off fallout detectors. The effects of radiation exposure is accumulative. That's why a regulatory agency set yearly thresholds of acceptable exposure for employees who regularly work around radioactive material. So I said, luckily the radioactivity stayed below the Canada-US border because Canada turned off our fallout detectors. Patriotic Space and Dutch Sense talked about radiation forecasts censored. And this was quite a shock because I said, imagine the government letting everyone get contaminated in order to avoid a panic. As if people are going to run away from the air. Thanks for exposing the lies. Here are the two graphs that they talk about from the same server. The one with all the fallout over here. This one here. That shows all the horrible fallout. And these are both from the same date. And yet, the one on the left, this one here. This one here, the one on the left, is the one that they put out to the people. So, the one with the people shows almost no danger at all. While if you look at the other one, North America is blanketed with radiation. And that's how they're lying to us. So thank you boys for exposing this and showing that the same server had two different graphs. One showed all sorts of radiation, and the one that was given to the public showed none, and they were both for the same time period. From Washington's blog, where they're talking about killing the unborn with radiation. And I said there should be quite a generation of bent babies coming. Luckily, the fallout has stayed south of the Canada-US border since Health Canada turned off our fallout detectors. See no danger, hear no danger, speak no danger, warn no danger. Another article. Fukushima accident severity level raised to 7. Lack of U.S. radiation monitoring data. So, nuclear engineer Arnie Gunderson says this is a thousand times worse than they planned. They try to delay evacuations until it's too late. He mentions how they hid the death due to Three Mile Island accident, which the book Deadly Deceit had exposed. Next article, nuclear neighbors, population rises near U.S. reactors. And it says, who's afraid of nuclear power? Not the American people choosing by where they choose to live. And I commented and said, a map of the U.S. with all the nuclear reactors that have been quietly killing them with low-level radiation. YouTube for big lie of low-level radiation where the guy got all the mortality statistics to show that people who live downwind have excess deaths. 
Next article, North Korea TV reports seriousness of radioactive leaks at Japan plant. And it says, what is most serious is that even a month after the accident, we see no prospects of getting radioactive leakages under control, an expert said. And I said, wake up, suckers in Canada. We're downwind for the next few years that it's leaking. Nuclear expert Arnie Gunderson again tells the Global Post the Fukushima Japan nuclear disaster is far worse than Chernobyl and could kill over 200,000 people. Well, Chernobyl killed over a million, so he's got that number wrong. And he says, you were criticized by an alarm as an alarmist by many, including Rush Limbaugh. Now that the crisis has been elevated to a seven, the maximum level, how would you respond to them? And Gunderson said, I was really being objective. I think that rather than me being an alarmist, they were being apologists. The record has shown that the alarmists were right and the apologists were wrong. And I said, and Rush Limbaugh's reassurance of no danger from the highest disaster rating of seven will have caused more listeners to die. Ha, ha, ha! Killed by a big lying mouth. Serves them right for listening to an idiot. Ani Gunnison said, it's a seven now. If you're asking, does it have the potential to get worse? The answer is yes. And I said, not to worry. The ratings on disasters don't go any higher than seven. So it can't get worse. The nuclear engineer who says it can get worse must be wrong. Let's go play in the radioactive rain. Next article. Nuclear expert, nine months to stop Japanese Fukushima radiation leak is optimistic. Wow. And I said, let's be optimistic. Only nine more months of radioactive fallout to go. Nuclear expert Arnie Gunderson talks about the danger involved saying their plan to stop the radiation from leaking in six to nine months is really an optimistic schedule. Our Fukushima nuclear disaster surviving planet Earth in the next 90 days. Earlier this week, TEPCO released its two-step plan for bringing the Fukushima Daiichi emergency under control. The plan's already in motion and has been stated that it will be completed in nine months. Someone else said, we want to express to our readers the dangers of monsoon season when radiation in the air will be brought to the ground in the form of radioactive rain. So I said, like I said, we had really bad luck in Canada getting all that nuclear rain so that Ontario's milk glow in the dark too. Radiation at number two spent fuel pool 30 million times above normal. Surprise, I said. I told you the nightmare wasn't even started. So what are you going to say when I ask you if you warned your family and loved ones to stay out of the radioactive rain? Uh, TEPCO officials reveal, little doubt, plutonium has leaked from Fukushima. The operator of the Fukushima nuclear power plant says it will examine the seabed off the facility to ensure no plutonium has leaked into the ocean. Well, the bad news is the explosion that took place blew up the plutonium storage place. Uh, April 20th, breaking news. Radiation spreads throughout the northern hemisphere. And I said, old news, still making news. But time to wake up to the threat. Breaking news. Radiation at number two spent fuel pool millions of times above normal. Uh, radioactive iodine in Phoenix, Arizona milk, 16 times above EPA drinking water limits. And I said, no such problem in Canada. We don't measure it in the milk, so it's not there. Another article, just in side-by-side -side comparison of censored and uncensored Japan Fukushima nuclear radiation fallout. And I already showed you that graph, the one with all the nuclear radiation and then the one without it, both from the same server, both on the same day. They accidentally left it there <laughs> instead of deleting it. Don't they know George Orwell? You got to delete the truth so that the lies have nothing to contradict them. So that's it. Uh, they said the steady concentrated stream of nuclear radioactive fallout heading toward the U.S. and Canada. Several censored radiation forecasts have been found, but were never released to the public. We now have for the first time a side-by-side -side comparison of the two radiation fallout forecasts. On the left is the censored version released for the public, downplaying the levels of radiation spreading around the world. And on the right, probably the true one.
the true forecast.